everybody so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over this issue if you ever see it uh, it's not great if you ever do see it because there's means there's a problem it's the folder icon with a question mark in it and you'll see at the bottom if you ever get it you'll say support.apple.com slash Mac slash startup I mean a few different things so we're gonna go over um, the older models that what can happen and also with the newer models what is this problem so the folder icon with the question mark the main issue is that it cannot that the MacBook cannot read an operating system that's actually on the MacBook itself. That could be due to a lot of things. It could be due to bad hardware inside, maybe a bad hard drive inside, or also it could be um, maybe a bad cable inside that's connected to the hard drive on certain models. Or um, most likely if you have a newer one, uh, you might have, uh, maybe you just did a OS update and then you got this, which usually means maybe the update failed or had an, an issue. So I do have this one here. This one is actually the this is A1278. Uh, I believe this is a 2012 MacBook Pro. And uh, these ones actually are known for, for this to fail. This is the hard drive cable that plugs into your hard drive. It's, see how very, very um, thin it is? And it's very easy to actually damage, but it can just fail uh, just because they do go bad. Uh, we've seen a lot of them. Uh, sometimes when you plug in a hard drive there, if you try to try to recognize it on the machine, it just won't recognize the machine at all. Usually that cable needs to get replaced. That is usually your best case scenario for these type of models. On those ones, they usually do have mechanical drives such as something like this, and which is a regular SATA drive. The drives can go bad, or it could also be that cable going bad. Um, best case scenario obviously is the cable going bad because it's an easier replacement and the worst case would be that this drive is actually going bad and then you would most likely need some type of data recovery um, going off to get your data off if you have the problem. Otherwise you could just swap the drive. We like to put in SSDs for, for these type of models, especially the older ones. They don't take the latest operating system so you won't be getting the folder icon usually because of an update because it doesn't take the latest one but they do at least have one we can put on like like a high sierra which is a very good one and some of these ones i think even the 2012 can max out about catalina we like putting those on as well but those are the older ones uh, we want to kind of talk about the ones with the solid state drive so anything after the the late 2012 macbook pro uh, with a retina screen anything with a late 2012 or later pro with a retina screen should have uh, something called a solid state drive in there they usually have something like this this is your um, this is the drive that's inside actually your MacBook Pro um, if you have any of the ones from like 2012 and above um, the the newer ones the latest ones have the drive that are built into the actual board itself and there is one model that actually does have uh, the drive that's removable but we'll talk about that in just a little bit so when you have something one of these like this they can go bad especially if there's any type of uh, corrosion or any liquid damage going on or if you're updating it obviously because the newer ones do take um, uh, Big Sur and some of them can take Monterey uh, I think it goes up to about 2015 I think they can take Monterey so if you're doing an update and then you see this problem you get a folder icon and usually it means there's a problem with uh, with the OS update but these still these aren't the greatest these still aren't the best because they do fail. Um, they, they, have con they have a controller on there. Obviously, they have NAND flash. And if something does go bad, it can fail. And obviously, the connection in there, if it's been corroded, or there's been any liquid damage, it can fail as well. If you have the newer ones, um, there is one model that I believe it's the 1708. I did have um, an A1708, but I don't have it actually here at, at the problem. Um, You'll see actually you can go to actually Apple has this website where you can go solid state drive service program and it's for 128 and 256 of um, drives that were or MacBooks that were sold between this time. You can obviously go ahead and check it out um, here, but it will be a 1708 and it will be the 2017 with two Thunderbolts. You want to confirm that's your model. Look it up. This is the kind of what it looks like inside uh, your machine and that it does connect to a board. Actually, this is a perfect one right here. And we also do have our own YouTube video actually talking about this model. If you want to go ahead and check it out, I'll put it in the link in the description. Just go ahead, check it out. Go to the website. If you have a problem or if you get the folder icon, definitely see if you can go through them. Uh, they have a warranty through it. We can definitely uh, fix it as well because we can swap out the drive and put it in a different one. If you like, we can even upgrade it. Maybe get like a 500 gig one as well because those ones do have that problem. Likely the newer ones, you just probably had an update problem. We also do have a video on macOS Big Sur, how when you're going from like Catalina, 
to Big Sur, or if you're going from like a 2016 one that has uh, a, an older OS to Big Sur, it's what it's going to do is it's going to update the firmware, and it's going to also update your recovery mode inside uh, the MacBook. And what that can do as well is it can give that folder icon and give you um, problems that it didn't fully complete the update. So now you're asking, what do you really do? For, for this. What's the problem? What's well, what's the fix? Well, it's great because I actually have one right here with the same problem. So we have this MacBook here, and this is the one that I just showed you guys that has a folder icon. So you're asking yourself, all right, what can I do in my position to do it? Obviously, you guys can bring it to us or, or any place that does work on Macs, and we, they will be able to definitely help you out there. Um, you want to check to see if the hard drive even exists or if there's a problem with the hard drive. Since I have a newer one here, this is definitely a good way to go. So uh, what we can do, um, we can do one of two things. We can just check real quick to see if the hard drive is there by just pushing the power button. And you can hold this key option. And what option is going to do is it's going to bring up a boot menu. And you can see right now there is no drive. There should be like a drive here. It should say like Mac, o, Mac HD or Mac SSD or something or untitled if it's been redone before. But there's nothing here. So we're going to just skip that and we understand that there is a problem. It's not recognizing, not the fact that there isn't a hard drive there, but there is no operating system to actually boot to. So we're going to hold Command and R. And what that's going to do is it's going to hit us to, to recovery mode. You, think you, you can think as R as recovery mode. So we're going to go boot up to that and it's going to go through all the way. And then what you want to do is put in your, your credentials. All right. And it's going to go ahead and boot. Once you do that, it'll go to the actual recovery mode itself. And then what we're going to do from there is go ahead to check to see if there's a hard drive to check to see what's going on. Why is there nothing there? But once you get to this screen, uh, you'll get to the Mac OS utilities. And this is where you can go ahead and uh, check out to see if you have a problem with the drive or if you have another problem or if you just need to reinstall the Mac OS. So we zoom in. There we go. So what you want to do, you want to check out. Uh, we, we were able to get to this page. We can see this one. It looks like that we have what is this, Catalina. I think this one's Mojave. Yes, this one is actually Mojave that it has, so it has an older OS. And this will make a lot of sense why this one has a folder icon because maybe it's trying to update to Big Sur or something else. So we want to go ahead and check disk utility. And we want to see if we can see our drive here. And we do see that there's an untitled drive. And so let's expand it. You can go up here, you can go view, and then show all devices. And now you're going to see that this there is an actual Apple SSD inside here. And this is the pretty much the hierarchy of the rest of the drives. This is avoiding the partitions. This is the actual drive itself. This is the built-in drive. It says PCIe. Um, it's a basically an internal one that uh, it's part of the motherboard itself. It's soldered to it, um, but it looks like there's just nothing really on it. It looks like it's completely blank. There's it's totally empty. So if you're interested in getting your data, or if you have any problems, or if you have a drive maybe that has some data on it, um, we do have a video on it. Go ahead, check it out. I'll also leave that in the link in the description on that video as well as the one with the, the 1708 with the recall um, hard drive. I'll leave those two in the link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But if you don't have that and you just really want to reinstall an operating system um, um, and you don't care about any data, then you can continue from here. We can just go to, since this one already doesn't have any data, but I'll just show you the process anyway. You just go to the top, so you start the hierarchy. You wanna to go to the highest point, so in case there's any partitions, you just wanna erase them. And then you can just hit erase at the top here. Um, you want to make sure the format is APFS. Um, these are going to be a newer, these are a newer partition for the newer Macs and pretty much any of the new ones are going to have it. Um, don't encrypt it for now unless you really want encryption on it. Um, you can do that later or put a password on it. Um, I think even the latest OS is they re-encrypt it anyway. But uh, so you can go, to, this is what you want to leave it at. APFS, GUID is fine too. And you can just hit erase. And what this is going to do is going to totally clean the drive if there is any bad um, updates or anything else, it'll just totally wipe it completely. And so you can install a brand new fresh operating system. And this one you will already have to have been connected to Wi-Fi because that's kind of, of the whole point. So you would have to connect this to the Wi-Fi in the corner. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, quit disk utility. And now we're left with this. Um, this one does have a later OS. So we can install this from the Apple servers if you want. So this would be going this way. And then we can maybe do an upgrade after that. So I'll upgrade the firmware. Yep, so you can see there's Mojave. And we want to hit continue. Um, if you don't want to go this way, um, shops can, tap, yeah, can usually have recovery uh, USB. So we do also have videos on how to make a recovery USB before you go this far and install it on your drive. So you have recovery USB as well. If you want to go ahead, check those out. Just check out our other videos. Um, 
we do have them on those on how to make a recovery USB for these situations. Especially if you have Big Sur on here, it, it kind of is disappointing that we have to go back to Mojave because it wasn't upgraded before, but maybe that's why we're in this situation in the first place. So we're going to hit agree. And all these other um, OSs, it's going to work the same way. You could just, you want to see your drive here, and then you can see install. Um, that would be the next thing. And you'll see this is the, your empty drive in here, but it doesn't have any data. It'll, say, it'll tell you how free it is. And then you can just hit install, and that's all you really need to do. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, found this video informative on what that question mark folder icon means for you. Um, we hope we really did clear up anything for which one this is. If you do see this problem and what the answer most likely is for you. If it did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Uh, please subscribe for more content. We do lots of MacBook spill repairs. We do data recoveries. Lots of cool stuff. We do talking points as well sometimes, especially if we think it's kind of important to you guys. Um, go ahead, check out our other videos if you're interested on in how to get data off when you have a problem like this. Um, or if you have uh, one of those ones that have a bad hard drive, we have lots of videos on Mac, Mac repairs and even repairing SSDs and lots of other things too. So if you're interested, please go ahead and check that out. Um, otherwise, I hope to see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye.